Hi, thanks Angelo and uh, hi everybody. So uh, the purpose of this seminar is basically try to uh, identify some uh, number of, let's say, test suite uh, to first of all understand and then try to overcome some of the challenges of uh, current state-of-the-art moderator -the reduction techniques. Uh, so far, uh, uh, there has been uh, three different uh, test suites. Uh, the first one on uh, bifurcation problems, the second one um, on, uh, let's say, uh, approximation of parameter-dependent shocks uh, in steady aerodynamics, and the third one on uh, uh, the approximation of uh, highly unsteady uh, PDEs and try to uh, predict uh, beyond the, uh, let's say, the training time, uh, the training window. And uh, so the idea of uh, today uh, is to, uh, let's say, present this, the really to motivate and then present the three test suites, present the first uh, test cases, and uh, ideally also try to discuss about uh, the potential metrics that uh, can be used to assess these uh, the different methodologies, and uh, second of all, also to identify possible next steps for uh, this uh, initiative. And um, I guess I want to leave the floor to the speakers, and uh, I think Nan is going to be the first one, if I remember correctly. I should. And, Can you hear me? Yeah. So... Okay. Uh, I will share my screen now. Yeah. Uh, can you see it clear? Yes. Okay. Uh, so I will start. Uh, so I'm going to talk about the test suite for uh, the reducer modeling of the purification phenomena in the fluid mechanics. Uh, most of the work uh, is finished during my PhD and the supervision of Professor Luc Baduch and uh, Professor Bernard. Uh, current now, he's still my uh, supervisor at HIT Shenzhen now. So, uh, for uh, I'm special thanks to Mark Mozinski for his help in the initialized uh, the direct numerical uh, simulation packaging for our numerical study. Uh, so, uh, so first, uh, the ROMs are simplification of high dimensional and complex systems. Uh, in fluid mechanics, fluid flow is governed by the Navier-Stokes equation, right at here. Uh, the velocity field and the pressure uh, field P can be a huge data set according to their special and uh, uh, temporal sizes. Uh, however, the flow dynamics usually involve a low dimensional manifold by a uh, Gardegin uh, expansion uh, or Gardegin projection method, we can approximate the dynamics in a low dimensional subspace uh, and use several ODEs to describe dynamics. Uh, the dimensionality will be reduced as, uh, um, uh, uh, as uh, truncated with a limited number of the degree of freedom. Here is N. So the free, uh, the free pinball. Uh, we propose here can work for uh, many ROM uh, benchmarks on different levels listed here. Uh, the basic is to, is to extract the right mode for flow features, like the Gallagher system. Here is the UI for the uh, critical uh, flow features, and then we base on it to build. Uh, uh, let me use this point to build a dynamic system for a single. Uh, operate, uh, operating conditions, and this is what I did in my 2020 JFM. Uh, next, we did, uh, we can do some like parameter in, uh, induced uh, studies with multiple operating conditions. Uh, here, we can change the re uh, Reynolds number uh, or the rotating speed of cylinders. Then, it can lead to a, a, a control oriented studies. Um, Next level is to lead to uh, uh, control oriented estimators. Here, S is the sensor, B is the actuation to the uh, Navier Stokes equation here, not writing here. And then we can uh, map 
the S and B to the uh, flow state A. This is what uh, in this paper uh, my colleague Li Songqi did in his uh, latest 2022 JFM. Uh, finally, it can be used to map to the uh, cost related surrogate model, like uh, to modeling the lift and the drag uh, coefficients. That's what I did in my 2021 JFM. So, a first summary before introducing the 3D pinball. Uh, lead, com uh, lead configuration can refer to our numerous studies and the experimental studies of Professor uh, Martinuzzi. It can be used for the uh, special cases for the purification phenomena in fluid mechanics and also for parameter induced ROMs, um, uh, or even the control oriented modeling. Uh, it's a prototype for multi body uh, systems and also a system uh, with multiple input and multiple output control. Detailed review can be found in uh, Professor Noack's 2017 tech, uh, technical report and my 2020 JFM. Uh, the computational cost of uh, this DNS is very low. One can uh, test thousands of control loads in days with parallel computations, and here is the, the details for that. Uh, we have four input um, uh, as the control parameters, one is the real number and the three rotating speed for three cylinders. And the multiple outputs like velocity, pressure field, and also the drag and lift coefficients uh, related to each uh, cylinders. So the following points will be addressed in this talk. Um, I will start uh, to introduce our benchmark configuration for Pimbo and then introduce the purifications and diabetes, in, uh, including here, and uh, then some challenge issues and provide some test cases. In the end, I will give two examples. Uh, the fluid pinball is a great sandbox for modeling and uh, a machine learning control benchmarks. As you can see uh, on the uh, left here, the fluid pinball consists of three rotatable cylinders, and we can uh, uh, rotate it with different uh, control setup. And the simple geometry allows very fast uh, numerical simulation. And uh, this one grid, uh, we didn't change the grid in this uh, configuration, and we can test four control parameters in this uh, uh, configuration. And uh, here is my results in 2022 GFM. Uh, we uh, re uh, somehow uh, review the, uh, investigate the purification or the uh, purification scenario to the cause. The first is the hot purification and then symmetry breaking. Next is the Neymar Shaker purifications and until to the cost. Uh, it's also a prototype for multi body flow. The interaction between multiple cylinders can lead to nine different flow regimes. It's uh, uh, overviewed in uh, Chen's 2020 JFM. They change the gap radio and, uh, between the cylinders and also the real numbers. And they map the different flow regimes in this uh, 2D map. So the initial idea to, uh, to design the fluid pinball is for the machine learning control. Uh, here is the, uh, the work of my colleague uh, Maceta um, to test the machine learning control. And uh, as you can see, there are many, uh, many publications related to our configuration for the pinball. Uh, because here, as you can see, we can place different number of sensors in the wake and uh, uh, in this uh, setup, we can uh, build a, a closed loop control by uh, taking the sen uh, sensing data from the sensors and then uh, by our control loads, we can design different actuating control loads by rotating these three cylinders. <clears throat> uh, this simple geometry allows uh, fast simulations uh, and uh, here we use uh, a small computational domain to make uh, it uh, uh, test very quick in a laptop. And all these details can be found in uh, this technical report and also in Bernd uh home pages. Uh, so with increasing real number, the system undergoes uh, hot purifications, uh, pitch for purifications, name shake purification and uh, until uh, entering the cost. And the 
uh, asymptotic regime for the uh, post-transient flow uh, looks so different as here at rate number 10 is the uh, steady flow and then uh, symmetric water shedding and then uh, symmetric water, uh, the water shedding with symmetry breaking and the, the second frequency comes out with uh, uh, prese uh, presenting a uh, quasi-biotic uh, water shedding and then cardiac water shedding. Uh, in my 2020 JFM, uh, we review uh, all these results for interest. Mm, and uh, uh, here uh, is a, a, a published work about the uh, rotating space dependent flow and uh, 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 the authors show different uh, test cases um, for the uh, for the uh, setup for these three rotating speeds. Uh, here is a result for experimental studies uh, from uh, Professor Matunisi. Uh, and uh, uh, the water shedding and symmetry breaking can be uh, observed in their experiments. Uh, so uh, come back to our numerical setup. Uh, in this work, we uh, we use uh, the incompressible Navistar equations and uh, scale it with the uh, cylinder diameter and the oncoming flow uh, velocity u and time scale is d uh, divided by u. And uh, we choose a larger uh, computational domain uh, to simulate an unbounded flow under the free stream condition as far as possible. Um, so the idea is to avoid the, uh, the war effect, and I will mention it later. Um, so uh, the direct numerous simulation uh, code is provided by Professor uh, Mozineski, and the time integration uh, accuracy is third order, and uh, the, uh, we use an unconstructed mesh with uh, uh, 15,000 triangles, uh, T6, uh, triangular elements and the uh, 30,000 uh, uh, varieties in this size of uh, uh, computational domain. And the low slip boundary conditions is applied to the cylinders if uh, uh, it is uh, the unforced cases is zero and uh, also the incoming flow and the side work. Uh, Stress-free boundary conditions is applied to the outlet. And each snapshot uh, will record the uh, two-dimensional velocity field and the pre uh, scale uh, pressure field with in the plain text. And each snapshot uh, is count 2.8 uh, megabyte. So uh, the state solution are computed by solving the uh, steady now equations with uh, newton raphson iteration methods. And what is interesting is that we can find the multiple, uh, uh, exactly the three uh, steady solutions for higher rate number. As you can see, um, the, the near uh, base bleeding jet is uh, uh, deflected to the upside or the uh, downside uh, in these uh, higher rate numbers. This indicates the symmetry breaking for the uh, steady solutions. So uh, we uh, determine their drag and lift forces coefficients and find in this uh, comp uh, size of computational domain, uh, the bifurcating point is uh, uh, 81. In these cases, the jet will deflate it to the up or down. And uh, here is their uh, drag lift uh, coefficients. And uh, next, for the unsteady Navistar equations, uh, with increasing real numbers, we can find different flow regime as uh, list here. Um, the symmetric uh, steady solutions is uh, uh, reflection of symmetrics, and uh, it can follow this uh, 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 reflection uh, operator. And uh, uh, after the whole equations, the uh, symmetric steady solution will uh, is unstable. And it's, uh, the first instability needs to a uh, symmetry water shedding. It satisfies the special temporal uh, symmetries. As you can see, with a half uh, back here time delay, it can uh, get a reflectional uh, uh, flow field. 
Next, uh, the pitch for vibrations is uh, related to the symmetry breaking of the uh, the near jet. And as you can see, uh, the far wake water shedding is still with single frequency, but the jet will deflect it to the upside here. And uh, at real number 120, uh, this jet will uh, oscillate um, to uh, and uh, we can find a second uh, frequency modulate uh, the far wake uh, um, uh, water shedding. And at real number uh, 16, and this jet uh, will uh, oscillate randomly. And uh, uh, in these cases, uh, we uh, determine that this uh, water shedding become uh, chaotic. Uh, so next, uh, we will uh, talk about purification and instability. So first, uh, we can apply the stab analysis around the base flow. Uh, this is the framework and uh, follow uh, these two papers. And uh, the near nice now source equations can be right out here. Uh, and here, the capital UB is the base flow. And this base flow can be chosen uh, from the state solution or the biotic solution. And in these cases, we can apply linear stab analysis or the flow cast stab analysis. Uh, in our 2021 uh, European physical letters, we review this uh, uh, very uh, non generic coincident uh, purifications uh, we found in this configuration. Um, this is about the symmetry breaking occurs at uh, 68. As you can see, at uh, uh, real number 68, the P4 purifications of the state solutions is happened at 68, and in this case, the symmetric state solution becomes three uh, state solutions, one symmetric, two asymmetric. Also, if we consider the uh, bacheotic solutions, here we present it by the, uh, its mean flow, but uh, here we present the bacheotic solution, a uh, limit cycle. If we do the flow cast stability analysis for this limit cycle, we can also find a uh, uh, symmetry breaking or pitch for purifications, and the least uh, number is 69. And the least two uh, critical number for two local purifications, they are so close, and uh, uh, we call it uh, coincident, uh, coincident um, purifications for two different uh, local uh, solutions. Uh, for interest, uh, we suggest you to read this paper. Um, so. The bacheotic water shedding is related to a uh, supercritical hypocation, and uh, many oscillator systems has the same behavior as the uh, hypocations uh, we show here. So in these cases, a steady state changes to an oscillatory state. From the uh, linear step analysis, we can find uh, uh, a pair of unstable eigenmodes here. Uh, here we should remember 20. The critical number is 18. So in these cases, these two unstable uh, uh, eigenmodes uh, is shown here, and they are uh, um, conjugated. Uh, the eigenvalues cross the uh, zero axis, and uh, these two unstable eigenmodes uh, indicate that the steady solution will destabilize from the st uh, steady solutions and uh, uh, we are uh, approaching to a limit cycle. Uh, next is the symmetry breaking. And uh, the symmetry breaking is uh, generally related to the uh, supercritical pitch for applications. In these cases, a real eigenvalues will cross the uh, zero axis. This uh, anti-symmetric eigenmodes, as shown here, will destroy the symmetry of the original state solutions. And, uh, um, these uh, modes can be also found in many uh, bistability uh, cases, like a bistable wake of the RML body. So to model the purifications, uh, there are several challenging points that need to be addressed. Uh, we first uh, introduced the most basic uh, example, the Benin von Kamen water street behind the cylinder as shown here. We can use a cubic uh, store Landau equations uh, with uh, 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 complex amplitude A uh, to describe the flow dynamics. 
uh, but in these two papers, the authors used uh, only uh, three special modes, U1, U2, and U data, uh, to describe the nonlinear saturations from the static solutions uh, to the final asymptotic uh, regime, the limit cycle. And as you can see, the manifold can be represented well with only three uh, degrees of freedoms. And in these cases, uh, um, uh, these modes mode can describe the mean flow variations from a state solution uh, to the final mean flow, and also the mode uh, deformation from uh, close to a state solution to the final limit cycle. This work can be found in uh, Professor Tadmer 2021 papers. So due to the mentioned instabilities uh, at different real number, there are multiple invariant sets in the state space. Um, and we try to model the transient and post-transient dynamics between uh, those uh, invariant sets. At the lower number here, real number 60, uh, uh, it's, uh, there are only one trajectory from uh, uh, an unstable fixed point to the stable limit cycle, as you can see. Uh, the corn from uh, the lead point to a limit cycle. And for the real number 90, uh, we have three fixed points and three limit cycle. Now, uh, the flow starting from the symmetry field point will pass through the symmetry limit cycle first and then converge one of these two asymmetry limit cycle. Here, I only show one uh, possible trajectories. Actually, if I uh, change the uh, initial condition uh, a little bit, and it can also uh, have a, a trajectory to the blue limit cycle. Uh, for the real number 120s and the 160s, uh, we can find two torus and uh, a chaotic regime. So uh, our modeling purpose is to model uh, these uh, multiple transitions between multiple uh, invariant sets and build uh, uh, interpretable uh, room for uh, explaining this kind of instabilities. This will be a very challenging work. So uh, for the test case, uh, we propose uh, four uh, test cases for very real numbers only. Mm, the first one is real number 60. And uh, as you can see, it's just a simple uh, behavior, uh, how can I say? Uh, uh, dynamics from the static solutions to uh, um, bahiotic solutions. And then the 90s, we will have uh, uh, three static solutions and three limit cycles, symmetric and uh, two asymmetric ones. Uh, and for random orange 20s, uh, uh, the three limit cycles change to uh, two torus, and for random 160, it's changed to a chaotic region. So here is uh, some basic analysis for the uh, uh, lift forces. And uh, mm, the first is very uh, simple. Uh, it's a single transition and uh, uh, with only a single uh, frequency here. But for the uh, periodic water shutting with a deflated jet, uh, we will have multiple uh, transition uh, uh, transients, and here uh, we we will consider four transients: uh, the blue one, the red one, and the black one, and the, the uh, conjugate one of the black one. Um, and uh, here there are only uh, one uh, frequency for the limit cycle, but for the uh, quasi periodic water shuttings, uh, the secondary frequency will be considered. As you can see, there are several uh, several sub peaks for this uh, uh, main peaks for the uh, water shedding frequency and for the chaotic ones uh, you can see we have a border uh, frequency peaks now and uh, in this case it's totally chaotic so this is the uh, heresy of uh, different uh, level of uh, redual modeling in this case so uh, to assess the model perform uh, performance, we will see if the uh, ROMs can represent the beautification phenomena. Uh, for example, to resolve the correct uh, uh, 
uh, all the environment and all the invariant sets like the fixed points and limit cycles, and also the torus if possible, and also identify dynamic system for uh, these two different purifications. Uh, and also, uh, we want to see if uh, the ROMs can reproduce the main features of the transient and post transient dynamics. Uh, the most important is the linear instabilities close to the fixed point and also the non-linear separations to the, uh, close to the asymptotic regimes. Uh, so, two examples uh, will be given here based on our published work. Uh, and uh, uh, here is, a, is the result of our uh, results in our uh, 2020 GFM. Uh, the system has six narrow star equations, three uh, state solution on the bottom, uh, no water shedding, and three periodic water shedding on top. Periodic water shedding. And uh, here we can see four different kind of trajectories for uh, link uh, these six invariant sets. And uh, so the, we will introduce uh, first the least order mean field model based on the purifications. Um, the critical idea of the least order mean field model is uh, a, a project based mean field model uh, and is to embed the uh, normal form of the purifications in our uh, model structure. And uh, here is the normal form for these two purifications. And then we put, uh, we project the, uh, uh, this uh, Gallagher convention following the normal form uh, to the naive stoic equations because of uh, here, the uh, naive stoic equation is quadratic and this normal form is cubic. So we introduce an additional slave the mode to the active mode uh, in this structure. So in total, it will reach five uh, degree of freedom for the uh, primary two purifications. And uh, after projection on the NFSO equations, we can get uh, this five degree of freedom uh, dynamic system. And uh, uh, we use... Uh, uh, none. Yes? Uh, sorry, just one, one more minute so that we try to stick with time. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay. Uh, so, uh, this idea we introduce uh, uh, sparse identifications and the, the, uh, in this uh, structured uh, Gallagher models, and uh, then we can get a very good uh, uh, transient dynamics uh, model uh, in this uh, uh, configuration, uh, in this work. And uh, uh, we suggest to uh, find details in our 2020 GFM. Uh, next is the cloud-based network model. And uh, uh, here we introduce uh, our uh, multi-scale decompositions uh, with different levels for different uh, scales of dynamics. And uh, we uh, input the snapshots and then uh, clustering the dynamics in different levels uh, to uh, describe the transient metrics in different levels. Here is for the uh, global uh, transient, and here is for the local dynamics for different uh, attractors. And uh, for the county cases, uh, we can mod we can get a very good uh, uh, stochastic models as shown here. And um, mm, some outlooks is for uh, the subcritical equations, quasi periodic regime, and the chaotic regime and also some linear correction with higher harmonics introduced in our least order mean field model. Uh, the final is the automated ROM uh, for, uh, to get uh, uh, the ROM easily. And finally is uh, the uh, parameter introduced dynamic changes in our three pinballs. And this is some um, preliminary work in the, uh, my colleague, uh, Dr. Lee's 2020 Japan. Okay, that's work.